inspiration and all the theme behind the, the shoot is me exploring trying to make things that, that shouldn't fit together fit together. If I feel like I know where I, when I pick up my comb or my scissor, if I know where I'm going to end up, I don't really like that. I like to, to kind of go into the unknown a little bit. The concept for the hair is that there isn't really a concept. Each, each individual idea is, is totally separate. Um, what brings it together as a, as a collection is the, the photography style, the clothing, the, the makeup, the, the kind of look and feel of, of the way we photographed it, but each idea is a total independent. The haircuts that we've done um, and the hairstyles that we've done are quite strong. You know, it's, it's combining quite short haircuts with quite long dressings. So to make that still look palatable and to make that still look beautiful, everything else needs to be very soft. So the photography style needs to be soft. The, the makeup needs to be very, very pretty and dewy and, and, and uh, the clothing can't be anything too aggressive or too um, out there. Everything, everything around the, the, the kind of stronger, more um, directional hair has to be very strong. You've got to wrap, wrap the hair up in cotton wool so that the entire image in, at the end is still pleasing and beautiful to the eye. I found, what I found is that if the haircut's technical, then the dressing should be a little bit more natural. And if, and if the dressing is more classic, then the haircut should be a little bit more textured and grungier. The reason that I started to, to kind of pick up photography was um, I'd come away from shoots and I'd look at the images and I'd think oh, if I had more time I'd do this or if I had more time I would do that and I thought if I really want to like take my work or I want to take my work I need to step back from these kind of very very busy crammed shoot days and to think about it a little bit more on set and add some more details to it and change the images so I thought the best way to do that would be to, to pick up photography and pick up a camera and, and, and to get myself to a point where I was comfortable enough to take my own images. The great thing about working with Infringe is that they've, you know, they've allowed me to, they've indulged me that really and, and given me these days in, in the studio and, and really let me do my work and, and make mistakes and try things out and, and I, think, I think we've got a nice collection of work at the end of it.